Hey, it was Adam, folks. Textboy91 here, and today we're continuing the Road of the Playoff Review series over the Tampa Buccaneers. They have a lot of nice, talented players on their roster, so let's go to the auction block and check them out. The first card today we're looking at is Gerald McCoy. This guy is having an underrated season, but is getting swept underneath the rug because the Buccaneers as a whole has a dysfunctional organization. I think they had three Mercy incidents with their kicker and a couple guys that didn't make the team. Kind of crazy, kind of a nasty team as well because of that. But this guy, Gerald McCoy, him, Star Luke lately, and also Dantari Poe are having defensive player of the year seasons but because they don't play a glamorous position such as linebacker or cornerback or freaking safety they're not getting any credit whatsoever but these guys are very very good and this car right here in particular is pretty nice 17,000 coins I believe it's the same exact price as 92 Geno Atkins so go ahead and look at this guy's attributes 95 power move that's pretty good pretty nice tackle usually these guys at the deep tackle spot don't have high tackles considering that not many of them are required to get tackles they're pretty much there to occupy space so I'm having 89 tackle which is really really nice good strength so I like that 90 strength 89 tackle 95 power move everything else seems to be in line with this 92 overall Geno Atkins so pretty much these cards are the same exact price around 20,000 coins a piece and if you had to pick one I would honestly probably go with McCoy because he's six foot four I like playing with uh, taller players in Madden when people like throwing passes, especially when they throw quick passes, these guys seem to get up there and bat the ball down. But both these guys play the same type of style. They're very, very athletic linemen that can get to the quarterback and also stop the run. So they're really, really versatile. So I like both these players, but just because McCoy's six foot four, I will lean towards picking him up. But Atkins is also a pretty good card as well. So it pretty much comes down to who you guys want on your team, McCoy or Atkins. You want dysfunction or you want dysfunction? Because both these guys play for pretty dysfunctional teams. The second card today we're looking at is Levante David. This is the second best right outside linebacker in coverage in this game, right behind Alec Ogletree. I have his 90 overall football outsider card, and at that stage in Madden, he was the best linebacker in the game. So he's up there with the top two. He's a nice pickup, 22,000 coins. That's really good for a nice linebacker that has an 85 zone coverage and a 75 man. So this guy's card is very, very nice. I'm going to compare it to a 90 overall card so you guys can see the stats basically side by side you guys can see the block showing but down by two the biggest improvement was its strength going up by 12 which is very very nice that allows him to tackle running backs better and more consistently like, like Thurman Thomas you got Walter Payton Eric Dickerson Adrian Peterson he can tackle those guys a little more consistency than he used to with his 90 overall card so I like this guy's card I would buy it I paid about 30,000 coins for the football outside Levante David when the card was first in packs I was happy with it and I want to sell it right now but I don't want to sell it and get the 94 overall one just because it's not that big an upgrade like the man in zone coverage is a nice improvement the strength also is nice as well but it's not really worth me selling this guy to pick up the 94 overall card because he plays well for me right now so if you guys do want to pick a Levante David I would check and see what his 90, 90 overall price is going for right now probably around the same exact price 22,000 coins and if that's the case just go ahead and pick up the 94 overall Levante David I promise you guys this guy is the second best coverage linebacker in this game and he's so much cheaper than Alec Ogletree is right now so much cheaper so if you guys want a good linebacker get Levante David he's a beast one of the hardest hitting free safeties in the NFL currently, Deshaun Golston. He's having an up and down seat with the Buccaneers. This guy is constantly getting fined. He got suspended recently for hitting somebody in the head, going too low as well. So this guy cannot find a happy medium, but it's kind of funny. The NFL is trying to do the oxymoronic thing by making a dangerous sport safe which is probably leading to why everybody's getting ACL injuries this year. But this guy's card is pretty nice. I'm not really fond of it, but he has some great hit power. 89 speed, 90 agility, 91 zone. That's better than most safeties. 88 play recognition. But the main selling feature of this guy's card, if you guys already know, is going to be his hit power. He has a 95 hit power. I believe it's the highest in this game next to Ray Lewis. Actually, maybe higher than Ray Lewis. So this guy can hit with the best of them, and he is really, really good at jarring fumbles loose. So... Is that worth 35,000 coins? I'm not too sure. I have its 85 overall card, which is going for around 5,000 coins, and the hit power on its 85 overall card, as you guys were wondering, is gonna be a 92. So you're gonna be paying uh, 35,000 coins or 30,000 extra coins for three plus hit power, but you're also getting better zone coverage and a little better speed, so, and play recognition. So that might be key as well. I'm not too sure about this guy's card, though. I had Deshaun Ghoston, the, uh, the 85 on my team, and he didn't play too well for me, so I got rid of him immediately and got Earl Thomas and Charles Woodson. But that hit power is so tempting to try. I might have to pick him up play a game with for you guys, but as of now, I'm gonna go ahead and stay away from it. 35,000 coins just for hit power. 
not really worth it to me. I like my safety to be back there in coverage for the most part and pick the ball off and not just look to knock people out. So I'm going to pass on him. If his price were to come down to right around 30 25,000 coins, I said it probably is a must get. But as of now, I'm not paying 35,000 coins just for hit power. The last and final card of the Buccaneers review series is the Royal Reaver. This guy's card is pretty nice. 92 speed, agility, awareness, and zone coverage. Also 97 man, 90 press, 91 play recognition, and 95 agility. This guy's card is very, very nice. Thanks to Text Charge on Twitter for letting me borrow this guy's card. I wanted to give you guys a better comparison compared to Joe Hayden, Akeem Tlaib, Cap Mundlin, all these cornerbacks I got so you guys can see how good this card really is. Here we are in the depth chart. We got Revis at the one, Sherman at the two, Leon Hall, Joe Hayden, Akeem Tlaib as well to compare this guy to. Right now, Darrell Revis is going for around 80,000 coins, so let's go ahead and compare this guy to 20,000 Sherman. Leon Hall is going for 30,000. We got Hayden for 40. Akeem Tlaib for 15, and also Tim Jennings is going for 20 just because I want to see how this guy stacks up compared to a lot of cheap cornerbacks. So let's go ahead and go through. 92 speed, 65 strength. I wonder if that strength correlates with the press i'm not too sure i don't think it does because sherman does a good job pressing wide receivers but you never know strength might be a big factor when it comes to pressing 95 agility 94 acceleration gets to his top speed very very quickly good awareness better than all, pretty much all my cornerbacks look at a keep sleep with 77 awareness why do i use that guy why do i use him i don't know why all right let's go ahead and get down further all right it's catching Wow, 73. This guy has bricks for hands. I don't like that at all. You guys see Akeem Sleep with 80 overall, 78, 74, 77. What is 73? This guy has worse hands than a linebacker, but I always think about this positively. His catching so bad because nobody throws the ball on his way, so that's why he can't catch because nobody throws the ball to him. So they give him a catch rating that doesn't make any sense, but that's just me thinking logically that doesn't make sense at all. But all right, let's go ahead and keep going. Keep going. I'm over here rambling now. Jumping 90. Look at Sherman with the 95 jump. That is crazy. Sherman 6 foot 3, 95 jump. So he pretty much is not going to get Moss. Revis has a chance of getting lost by guys with higher jump ratings who are taller, such as Calvin Johnson, AJ Green. You also got Des Bryant and Brandon Marshall. That's not a good matchup, but I do like his chances with that. And it's pretty bad compared to most of my other cornerbacks as well. So that also can be a problem. Going to get further down on this list. Tackle 64, middle of the road there, middle of the road with hit power. I can deal with that though. Let's go ahead and get further down. Play recognition 91. All right, that's pretty good. Still middle of the road, though not the best. 97 man coverage, which is what this card's all about. You're paying 80,000 coins for man coverage. Is that worth it? I don't think so right now. Zone coverage is also not as high as I would like it to be. So. Eh, 80,000 coins with this guy's card. I don't really think it's worth it. This guy's card has some good stats, some good attributes, but it being 80,000 coins and the stats not being eye-popping, I might go ahead and pass on it. So we just finished looking at this guy's depth chart stats, and my overall opinion on this guy's card is it's not really worth it. You're paying the 80,000 coins for the 97-man coverage, which is not necessary. There are a lot of other cornerbacks going for 20,000 coins. I named a couple Sherman. You got Leon Hall, Akeem Tlaib. All these guys go for 20,000, 30,000 coins who are very similar in stats and they're very cheap. So if I were going to pick up a cornerback, I would go with those who are picking up Darrell Revis. This card is very, very nice. Don't get me wrong, but paying 80K for this card is not really worth it. So that would be my final assessment on this Darrell Revis or the playoff card. And that is the video, folks. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Tampa Bay Buccaneers Road to the Playoff Play Review. I'll be back next time with the Arizona Cardinals Road to the Playoff Play Review. I am the Texas Boy. I am out of this mother bleeper. Peace. Don't forget to like the video.